Good afternoon. The death of a man whose body was found in a Dundee street is being treated as suspicious. The body was discovered in Lawton Terrace at half past two this morning. Police have sealed off an area between Byron Street and Law Crescent. Inquiries are ongoing. A station master who carried out physical and sexual assaults on children in the 1970s has been jailed for nine months. Trevor Francis received an MBE from Prince Charles in 2012 for his work in the community in Aberdour. But in the mid-70s, he was the manager at St Margaret's Children's Home in Ely, where the offences against three girls and two boys took place. They came to light in 2014 when a victim approached the police. Part of the investigation was to identify both male and female residents that had been children in the care home at the time uh, Trevor Francis was the manager there and we saw about identifying as many of those people as we could um, and chasing them and, and contacting them and what we obtained from um, a number of them multiple, was multiple accounts of both physical and sexual abuse uh, that he had inflicted upon them um, at that time. NHS Grampian are warning patients in the North East they may be unable to meet 12-week waiting time targets for surgery. Doctors are being forced to prioritise the most serious cases, with non-urgent cases face facing lengthy delays. In a statement, Grampian NHS Board said the current approach was pragmatic, while admitting waits are longer than it would like. Health Secretary Shona Robeson has apologised to patients. Dutch airline KLM is to put on extra flights between Inverness and Amsterdam this summer due to soaring demand. The route, which began last year, was the carrier's most popular UK service to Schiphol last summer. The second daily service to the airport will run from today until October. Football now and Inverness could be relegated tonight without even kicking a ball. A Hamilton win at Ross County this evening would consign the Cali Jags to next season's championship. However, the Staggies are determined to give their Highland neighbours a helping hand. We're hoping that we can do Inverness a favour. The last thing that we want as a club or, uh, for the area is for Inverness to go down, we want them to stay up, you know, so from that side of things, uh, hopefully we can do our side and, and it helps them. Now here's Jill with a look at the weather forecast. STV Weather, sponsored by Thompson. Hello, we've had some real warmth around already today, uh, feeling quite close for many, and we've seen a brisk southerly breeze, but that's allowed the temperatures to creep up in the far north. So up into the high teens, low 20s, before this weather front edges its way right across Scotland, and that will bring with it some showery outbreaks of rain. Behind that, there'll be clearer conditions, less cloud, and we'll see a cooler, fresher feel to things as we go through the night. So one or two spots dipping away down to around five or six. We'll see blustery showers coming in towards the northwest, but elsewhere, Wednesday's looking fine and bright, but fresher. STV Weather, sponsored by Thompson. That's all for now. Join Norman at six for a full roundup of today's news and sport. But until then, have a good afternoon. Goodbye.